What next? A Trump triumphant. Greetings. This is Bradford Townsend, and this is a Forward Research Report. Wednesday, November 9th, 2016. Firstly, Forward Research has had 100% accuracy in political, economic, and market forecasting. I encourage viewers to check my claims. Forward Research's perfect track record predicting an Indiana politician would be selected to high office was correct. Mike Pence, governor of Indiana, was chosen by Donald Trump as his running mate to be vice president. Forward Research predicted Donald Trump's presidential victory by a substantial margin in the Electoral College back in September. The reasoning was driven by evidence of large, enthusiastic voter turnout amongst Trump populist supporters, and more importantly, the understanding that the intelligence community would leak damaging evidence of a pattern of criminal conduct by Hillary Clinton. Forward research advised that the financial markets would be stabilized by mega banks and central banks during the run-up to the election trending sideways to slightly up. Bradford Townsend posted on his Facebook page and the YouTube channel his video, Third Quarter 2016, Danger Ahead, All Hands to Battle Stations, June 3rd of this year. Trump triumphs. What happens next? What are the actual powers of a U.S. president, and more importantly, what are his constraints? The correct answer is, the President of the United States' executive powers rise and fall with his popularity. My cousin Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the most popular U.S. President over the last century and had the powers of a tyrant. Contrasted by a disgraced Richard Nixon, he had very little real authority by the end of his presidency. The most probable aftermath of the Trump victory is a weakening economy and a modest change in legislation, enforcement, and policy. Trump will have a weak mandate, having lost the popular vote. President Trump will be constrained. He will be able to revoke executive orders concerning illegal immigration, environmental regulations, commercial regulations, and gun control. Donald Trump will be making nominations to the Supreme Court and federal judges. Trump nominations will cause a middling ideological shift in the courts. The network of political patronage amongst lobbyists and federally appointed federal executives will be substantial, although this will have little effect on the typical citizen. Foreign policy of the Trump administration will be less interventionist, focusing on domestic issues. Mediocre health care reform will pass, keeping the best of the Obama health care plan. Modest reforms to the tax code and typical increase in infrastructure spending. Trump made promises he has no capability to deliver on, such as jobs and ending establishment corruption. The Trump administration will be a mediocre affair. Finally, the global economy is in a state of disequilibrium. The bubbles of the largest sectors of the U.S. economy must be pumped. Popped, I'm sorry. (laughs) Real estate, bond markets, and stock markets. There will be unexplainable large swings in the markets with a downtrend in asset prices. A defensive position would be best. Please like and subscribe. Live long and prosper. This is a forward research report by analyst Bradford Townsend. Over and out.